Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And if you like algebra and geometry, then you're going to like this uh, particular word problem. Let me go ahead and read it to you. It says the base of a triangle is twice as long as its height. The area of this particular triangle is 30 centimeters squared. What we want to do is find the base and height. And of course, as I indicated, you'll need uh, some basic knowledge of geometry and algebra to solve this problem. Hopefully nothing too uh, difficult for you, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. Again, we have this triangle. We got some information about the triangle, but the objective here is we wanna find the dimensions for the base and height. Let's go ahead and see the answer right now. So the height uh, is going to be the square root of 30 centimeters and the base is going to be two times the square root of 30 centimeters. So if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, let's celebrate your success with a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you know a thing or two about algebra and geometry. Now, just a quick uh, kind of side comment here as I'm, I am uh, talking about algebra and geometry. For most of you out there, if you've um, already completed high school or if you are in high school or in college, just a quick review of um, the kind of the general uh, way courses are taught at the kind of secondary level and e even into college. So uh, typically you'll start taking you know, maybe like an eighth grade, like a pre-algebra course, and then you'll move on in high school to like an algebra one course. But after algebra comes geometry. And then of course you can continue on with courses like algebra two, pre-calculus, et cetera. But um, for geometry, a prerequisite uh, for geometry is algebra because uh, at the high school level, uh, in terms of geometry, you will need to have a good amount of algebra skills. So this is why you don't want to kind of look at math as, you know, in a vacuum. In other words, like, oh, when I learn this, I don't need to learn, uh, remember that anymore because I'll move on to my next course and it'll be all brand new stuff. All mathematics is interconnected and it does build upon itself. So, you know, your attitude when you learn math is just to try to truly learn it don't just learn it to pass a test. Uh, even though you may not like math and you do just want to pass this test, try to have an attitude of really, you know, learning to learn for the long run. It's going to make things much, much easier for you as you progress through these various courses. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. So this is a word prom. And when it comes to any word prom in mathematics, I kind of like to use this kind of rule of three which means basically read the prom three times before you start doing anything with the prom. So the first time you read the prom, just get a basic sense of what the prom's about. The second time you're starting to pull some information, some details about the problem and start painting a picture of what's going on. And then the last time, and this course this is only three times at a minimum uh, uh, in terms of reading a word prom before you start any work, really make sure you understand the question here. Okay, so the question is we want to find the base and height of this particular triangle. Okay, so we have a triangle. We have some uh, information that relates to the base and its height. And of course, we do have the area of this triangle. So what's a good starting point? Well, after you read the problem, a good starting point is to model what's going on. So you can do this in a number of different uh, various ways. Uh, the easiest way uh, to do a problem like this, because we are talking about a triangle, is just to sketch a triangle out. You don't have to be a, a perfect artist. You don't have to get a ruler out. Just, you know, be nice and neat and start constructing a triangle so you can kind of visually see what's going on here. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So here is a triangle. Yeah, yours can look different, but what we need to understand is what is the base and height of a triangle okay so here would be a triangle so this particular triangle the base is this longest part down here uh, 
and then the height of the triangle is going to be perpendicular to the base, so uh, something like this. So, you know, when you construct a triangle, try to make a nice, easy triangle. Don't maybe do an obtuse triangle like that. You could if you want, but make things nice and easy on you when you want to interpret what's going on. Okay, so here is a triangle. Here would be the height of this triangle. Here would be the base of this triangle. So now what we need to do is uh, kind of start adding in some details on our little model down here. So the base of this particular triangle is twice as long as, it, as its height. Okay, so here we're going to have to um, uh, relate the height and the base. Again, the base of this triangle is twice as long as the height. So let's go ahead and work on that right now. So here is our figure, but let me go down here. And because we're trying to solve for the base and height, let's go ahead and start using some variables. Now you can use any variable. I'll just use the variable x to uh, express, uh, express the height of this triangle. So if the height of the triangle is x and the base is twice as long as the uh, height, let's go back here and double check that statement. So the base of a triangle is twice as long as its height. So uh, if our height is x, then our base will be 2x, okay? 2x is, of course, double x. So this would be the base and this would be the height. So this is what we're dealing with right now um, as a kind of good starting point. We do have the variable x. x would uh, represent the height of the triangle. But uh, the first thing we would, what we need to do is to make sure we have an accurate sketch and we relate the information in the problem uh, you know, accurately. And just kind of double check and say, okay, does this make sense? Here is my triangle, here's the height, here's the base, the base is twice the height. Okay, good to go. All right, now what's the next thing we want to do? Well, after you do, uh, you know, come kind of construct a model, start putting information into the model, the next thing we want to do is use the additional information in the problem to solve for this unknown variable, which of course is x. So now we're going to have to use this part of the problem. The area of this triangle is 30 centimeters squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and tie that in. Uh, to the problem. So the area of the triangle is 30 centimeters uh, squared. Okay, no problem. That's what the problem uh, stated. But what we need is the formula for the area of a triangle. And the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Now, hopefully you knew this. If you didn't know this, I'm going to suggest to you that uh, this is an equation, or formula, excuse me, that you want to kind of commit to your long-term memory. Real basic things like the area of a rectangle, area of a circle, area of a triangle. These are uh, formulas that you're going to need to know for all different uh, variety of reasons and uh, tests that you're going to be taking and courses you're going to be taking. Now, there's a lot of formulas uh, in mathematics, many of which you don't really uh, you shouldn't try to commit to your long-term memory. Uh, you need to have those in your notes and reference them. Uh, but a formula like this, this is such a you know kind of basic figure that you should just know the area of a triangle. But anyways, if you forgot, uh, here it is. Area is equal to one half the base times the height. Of course, we know what the base is and the height is, and we're told that the area is 30 centimeters for this particular triangle. So what we can do is actually construct an, uh, an equation because we need an equation to solve for this unknown var uh, variable x right here. Okay, so here's the formula for the area of a triangle. Area is equal to one half base times height. What is the base? Well, the base here is 2x. So we'll plug in a 2x for our base. And of course, the height is x. So area is equal to one half 2x times x. And here you can see our twos cross cancel, so we're left with x times x, which of course is x squared. So the area is equal to x squared here, but we're told that the area of this particular triangle, the um, area is 30 centimeters squared. So what we can do is construct an equation. Okay, so area is equal to area. So if the area is 30 meter, uh, 30 meters squared, and it's also equal to x squared, well, we can construct an equation x squared is equal to 30 and solve for x. So what type of equation is this? This is a quadratic equation. So all we need to do is literally just take the uh, square root of both sides. So the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 30 is positive and negative 30. Now, uh, 
if this was just a regular quadratic equation, uh, we would need both the positive and negative roots. But, but because we're dealing with a triangle, we're talking about positive distance here. So we'll just uh, take the positive version. So x will be equal to the square root of 30. We don't need that negative uh, part. So now let's go down to our uh, figure here and actually answer the question, what is the base and what is the height? So the height is x. So x is the square root of 30. But remember, we are dealing with units of measure here because our area was centimeters squared. So our height will be equal to the square root of 30 center, uh, centimeters. Okay, so if the area, again, was in centimeters squared, and we took the square root of both sides, now we are dealing with centimeters as far as distance goes. Now, if you forgot to put in your units of measure, that is um, something you do not want to forget. Many math teachers will take points off, and science teachers as well, if you don't put in the proper units of measure. And then you can end up looking like this. You'll be very upset, and you'll go to your math teacher and be like, I knew it, I knew it. Why did you take points off? And they'll say, well, you got, if you knew it, you should have put it down. And uh, you know, I'm going to try to save you uh, having uh, any of those debates with your teacher. That's one of the... Uh, most common phrases that math teachers hear. I knew that. I knew that. Well, if you know it, you got to put it down and putting your proper units of measure uh, into your answer is really important. Okay, so the height is the square root of 30 centimeters and the base is twice the height. So that's going to be two times the square root of 30 centimeters. So that would be the base. Okay, so again, uh, just a good little example of why you need to know some algebra to solve uh, many geometry problems, not all geometry problems, but many. So if you are struggling with geometry, okay, chances are you might have a difficult time in um, algebra. Okay, If you need help with algebra or geometry, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to strongly uh, suggest you check out my full course instructions on both of uh, uh, these courses, whatever you need. Uh, if it's uh, algebra that's giving you a challenge or if it's the geometry, there is a lot in both courses. But whatever you do, make sure you don't just say, well, no, I'll never see that again because you are going to see this stuff again, especially if you're going to continue your math education. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.